close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Tarragon and Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. I am doing okay. My allergies are really, really acting up right now. It's not even that warm, so I don't know why they're acting like that. But if you hear me sniffling and doing all this foolishness, I do apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back and thanks for coming back. If you are new and you like what you see and you like watching budgeting videos, planner videos, then go ahead and like and comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, so today we're doing a simple video. It is going to be my sinking funds. Uh, if y'all noticed, if y'all been with me for a while, you'll know this is that the Shea Budgets kit from January. I actually put this up there in January thinking I was gonna start sinking funds on my first month of budgeting. Girl, why did you think that was gonna happen? And no, it didn't happen, but that's fine. It took me all the way until this month in March to actually be able to put money away and figure out a budget to um, put some money away to sinking funds. But however, I'm one of those people that I don't really have a list of sinking funds per se. Right now, I'm just one of those people that feels like, oh my God, this is so overwhelming that I feel like I might actually be sinking. And if you haven't checked out my um, what is a sinking fund video slash why I feel like I'm sinking, what do I do about sinking funds, I'll link that up in the iCard so you can check that, that, check that out. Um, I thought it was a decent video and most people seem to like it. But basically a sinking fund, if you don't know, is just a fund where you put aside money for future events, whether it's car maintenance or it's going to be for a vacation, and you break it down over a period of time and you divide that time by the amount of money that you want to save, basically. But in the end of that video, basically the gist of my video at the end says, if you can't do all that and you just can't find any money, just pick an amount of money to put into this, a savings account and call it sinking funds. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So what I figured out is I can afford about $103 bi-weekly on my bi-weekly paycheck. So I do want to be able to track that. However, although I can just look in my bank, I like to have it written down somewhere as well, just so I can actually look at the transactions as well. So let's get right into setting this up. So the way that I think I'm going to set this up, it already says thinking funds, so that part is great. I'm done. I've got the budgeting sticker kit here, and I do want to use one of these. I think I like the one that says not nah, um, feed the piggy because <laughs> it is like a savings fund so actually you know what we'll put this you know what? yeah I'm gonna put it down in the corner I always like a little sticker in the corner I don't know why so gotta make sure we feed the piggies now I'm going to actually these two sticker sets came in my budgeting planner and I was always like what am I going to do with these because I already have monthly planner dates and stuff but then I was like oh I can use that here so I'm actually not going to use the January or the February but I'll count down till March so because I'm not doing really really if he's not going to come up oh okay they're stuck together but since I'm not going to do I can't speak since I'm not going to be doing like separated sinking funds mine is just a month mine is going to be quite simple so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down all my months I think I'm going to so I believe the way I want to do it is I'm going to put March and then I'm going to put the word beginning so that'll be for the beginning balance which first of all that's gonna be zero dollars and then I'm gonna put like a deposit right here with the plus sign and withdrawal because that's why you have sinking funds because you might have something you need to withdraw out of it eventually and then I want to do ending balance that's how pretty much I'm going to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the rest of my months. Alright guys, so all my months are down. 
going this way. I just thought it would be better. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And now I'm just going to go in and add all of my headings. Y'all know it wouldn't be Tara style if there wasn't a big old blob of white out, but that's okay. It's everyone's purpose. And since this is like a saving sinking fund, we'll use the do not do not save. Let me put it down first because it's y'all not gonna be able to see it. <laughs> It says, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Warren Buffett. So, yeah, I really like it. I'm excited to be able to start writing some of these things down. Um, I think it's going to be really good to finally see it coming in. that's it guys it's a really short to the point video this is my new sinking fund tracker and when we do our monthly march closeout we'll fill out what our new amounts are all i know is that our beginning balance was zero and i have one deposit but i'm going to just take the total amount of deposit and add there and then if there was a total amount of withdrawals and add there and i left a little room down under each one because if it was like, let's say I took something out for car maintenance or something, I'd actually like to write that under there if possible. Um, we'll see how it goes. But overall, I still have the back of the page. So if anything, I'm thinking about like putting March. If I take something out to make a more descriptive section on the back about what it was that I took it out for and how much of each transaction would be. I hope you guys like it. I know this probably is not gonna work for everyone, but if you're like me and you're just putting money into a savings account and calling it your sinking funds, this should work perfectly. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful, and I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day.